Benvenuti in Lovato Autogas. Grazie a questo video potrete assistere all'installazione guidata dell'impianto ad iniezione gassosa sequenziale EasyFast. Le tre fasi principali del video vi illustreranno le semplici operazioni da effettuare per poter installare EasyFast. L'inserimento dei componenti del kit nella zona motore, l'allestimento della parte posteriore del veicolo con il serbatoio, l'installazione del software per la taratura della centralina elettronica. Lovato Autogas augura a tutti voi buona visione. We will now see how to mount the Easy Fast system. Open the engine compartment and disconnect the battery. Then remove the intake manifold on which the gas nozzles will be mounted. When you have removed the manifold, take the measurements for drilling the holes where the nozzles will be fitted. Mark the exact spot and drill the holes paying special attention to the right inclination of the holes. Then make the thread in the holes. Apply a drop of sealant to the nozzles and fit them on the manifold without pushing them too hard. When the nozzles are fitted, you can install the special approved gas hoses, which must be firmly fixed in place with the clamps. Remount the manifold and cut all the hoses to the same length. The MAP signal is taken from the butterfly body downstream from the throttle valve using the same nozzle that is used in the manifold. Depending on the engine capacity and HP, select the calibrated nozzles to mount on the rail. The measurement is given by the letter printed on the nozzle. Once the nozzles are fitted to the injectors, the rail must be connected to the manifold gas hoses. Then fix it firmly to the engine using the supplied bracket. To install the RGJ reducer, cut the car cooling system hoses near to the bulkhead that separates the engine compartment from the driver and passenger compartment, blocking the hose with the clamp to prevent any liquid leaks. Prepare the T-couplings on the water hoses in the kit and ensure they are the correct length. and then connect the water hoses to the original car circuit and the reducer couplings. When the water hoses are fixed in place, screw the reducer to the fixing bracket mounted on the bodywork. Install the LPG filter with its sensors between the reducer and the rail, ensuring it is mounted in the direction shown by the arrow. The electric wiring connector is then connected to this plug. The pneumatics are completed when the gas hoses and MAP are connected. As you can see, the gas passes into the filter from the reducer where all impurities are filtered out and the pressure and temperature levels are read. After passing through the filter, the gas goes to the injector rail. At the same time, the MAP signal is taken from the butterfly body downstream from the throttle valve. It enters the FSU filter in the opposite direction and the value is read. And it then enters the top of the reducer to offset the outlet pressure, which is regulated by the screw. 
The copper pipe that comes from the multivalve passes underneath the car, in an area that is protected from the exhaust pipe and is then fixed directly to the reduction unit, where the LPG solenoid valve is incorporated. The electronic gas system control unit that is installed using the supplied brackets is in an accessible position for the wiring connections, but which is also protected from any water sprays. The unit has two connectors of different colours to prevent any errors in the electric wiring. All the components are prepared with their own specific connectors, which are all different from each other to make wiring fast and error-free. The petrol injector and gas injector cut-off wires are marked with letters to ensure they are connected respecting the original injection sequence. After taking the wires into the driver and passenger compartment, install the petrol and LPG fuel supply switch for switching from one to the other. Naturally, the switch must be installed inside the car in a clearly visible, easy to reach position. When the electric wiring is complete, you can install the fuse. Now we will see how the rear part of the vehicle is prepared. The gas tank is fitted in the space in the spare wheel compartment in the car boot. The multivalve is fixed to the gas bottle in the center of the bottle and under the lid of the vapor box. It has a safety solenoid valve and two manual valves. There are two copper pipes connected to the multivalve. One pipe goes under the car to the engine compartment and feeds gas to the reducer. The other comes from the intake installed inside the fuel flap. The intake must be screwed onto the coupling to ensure the supply. When the plant has been installed, remount the original components and fill up with fuel to enable configuring and setting the system from your PC and to carry out the road test. Connect a portable PC to the control unit for configuring and setting the system using the serial cable connected to the diagnosis socket and a hardware key. Start the program and open the configuration page, which shows the basic settings for the control unit functions. Once the control unit has been configured, begin the auto calibration program which automatically creates the system function mapping. To complete the procedure, check that everything is in perfect working order using an OBD2 tester, which gives a dynamic control of the settings of both the minimum functions and on-road functions when the vehicle is being driven.